Hi, this video is all about interactive games and how you can include them in your Right Booth events. So I've opened up a Right Booth event here which has got four games on it. Let's have a quick look at the screen. So we've got a menu with four buttons on it and each button links to a different screen. Now I'll explain how to create all this later but first of all I'm going to show you a video of me playing these games on a 42 inch touchscreen monitor. So let me just switch to that video. So let's play this. So I recorded this video earlier. Now that's the first game which is Connect 4. I'm going to choose to play against the computer. Very straightforward, you just touch various slots to drop your tokens in. Now notice the exit button down in the bottom left. That can take me back to the first screen in the right booth event. So I'll touch that shortly. So back to the main screen. I'm now going to try the second game, which is Jewel Hunt. Now notice on this one, when it gets going, I actually use touchscreen drag operations to move diamonds and coin, uh, various diamonds around. So it's not just touching, it's actually touch drag. Just like you get on a standard mobile device, I guess. So just to, just to say that this is actually being hosted inside Rightbooth on one of the Rightbooth event screens. Back to the menu, let's go for the third game. Notice it's loading up there, so it's actually loading these dynamically off the off the internet. So these are being downloaded from the internet on the fly, controlled by the right booth web browser. Here we've got a physics game, so it's trying to get the, the token down into the container. So just to say again that these games are being hosted inside the Right Booth web browser item and uh, a bit later on in this video I'll show you how you can very easily include these games in your own events. It took me ages to work out how to do this, uh, this little bit here. Okay, there's an exit button up the top there, you can't quite see it because I didn't capture it, but going back to the main screen in right booth again, and finally the fourth game. Again, this involves some physics and dragging the mouse, sorry, dragging the touch point to get the right point for release of the arrow. So it's fully touch screen interactive, um, again, all controlled inside the right booth web browser, which is effectively Google Chrome that's embedded in there. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good really in terms of compatibility. Okay, so I'm going to show you how uh, I put all this together uh, and let you see how easy it is really. Back to the, uh, the menu. Okay, before I explain how I've put this together in Right Booth, what you have to do is find a good source for HTML5 games uh, online. Now, I did a bit of searching earlier and I found this website, which is h5games.online. So I'm actually now showing you just Google Chrome here. I'm in Google Chrome and all these games can play online. So the four games that I showed you earlier have all come from this website. So, for instance, if I go to the puzzle section and just scroll down a bit, you will see the Connect 4 game. So let me just play it in Google and you can see how it works. A bit noisy, let me just turn that off. So it's, it's running in the browser here. You can see that we've got the, uh, 
the tabs on the top and so on and it's just exactly like it was when I played it in right booth except you've got the chrome interface around it okay let me just close that down now the thing about this is if I just play that again if you notice up here this is the URL the address of this game um, and the nice thing about these games on this site is there are no adverts and they're all free to play so you know these are there's no problems using these games in your events so you can see that we've got an, an address there so that's something to bear in mind let me just close that down again so literally all I did was I went through these games and found ones that I thought would be quite nice to play okay so let's go back to the right booth event and I'll show you what I've done so as I said we've got a menu that's just a label item and these are four labels as well um, if I look at the properties on this one you can see that I've given it a border and I've obviously given it the connect for content and down here I've given it the click action show screen connect for so that's going to when I touch that or click on that when the event is playing it's going to take me to this screen in the list um, just a point about this uh, set of screens I'm basically I've created an information event here and I've added these five screens um, separately um, but you don't have to do an information event you can have these screens in a standard video recording event or a photo capture event so these buttons could be on the start screen along with the record video and take photos buttons if you wanted it's just literally a, a case of making links from these buttons to various screens that you add so the jewel hunt has got the click action show screen jewel hunt which will take us to that screen catch it show screen that one the archer label has got the click action show screen archer right let's have a look at the connect for screen now i've already edited i've already designed this in advance but what i'll do is i will just show you how it's broken down so this is actually a web browser item and this is a button or should i say it's a label which has the click action show screen menu so this is the one that takes me back to the menu so all there is on this screen is a web browser item and a button to take me back to the menu so how have i connected up to the connect for game well let's have a look at the properties on this one if i just double click this you can see that i have entered the web address for the connect for game from the website i showed you earlier so let me just come back to here and let me go to this and notice that this is the url for this game so i'm just going to copy it task switch back to the right booth editor and i can just put it into there and that's all you have to do to link up the web browser to the connect for game now just to show you how easy that is let me add another web browser so here's another web browser double click and paste in the connect for game now i've got two copies of it running obviously you don't want two here it's just to show you how i did it but it's as simple as that really let me just delete this one again now obviously each of these games have different real estate the connect four is a four by three aspect ratio game so you can probably well you can't actually size it to fit the right booth screen now notice that there are, there's nothing around this web browser there are no you know tabs there's no url bar or anything it's just a very clean interface for that game 
And it's, I've done the same on the other screens as well. So on the dual hunt screen, this is a bit noisy, so I'll have to talk over the top of it. It's actually loading the game in the editor itself. But if you notice here, it's not full screen at this point. If I just double click it, you can see that I've got a different um, URL that I've pasted it in again from um, from the Connect 4, sorry, from the HTML5 games section. Let me just come back out of that to catch it. Again, let's just double click this and see that we've got a different uh, URL there to the physics game, which again has come from this website. I can't quite remember where it is now, but and I could change to a different one, for instance. Let's go for this one. So let's say I want to use that one instead. I just literally take that, copy it, come back to here, paste it in, and now I have a different game on this page. I'm just going to undo that. And finally, the Archer page. Again, this is a full screen web browser here. As you can see, I'm dragging it, making it smaller. Notice that the browser always maintains its aspect ratio in the size of the box that you, uh, you are sizing on your screen. Let's just double click this and notice that this takes me to the Project Archer page on this uh, website. So it really is that simple. You literally go online, find a game that works well in the Google Chrome browser, make a copy of its URL, come back into Rightbooth, add a web browser item and give it the web address that you found on, on your searching. And that will then play when you play the event. Now notice when I'm actually in the editor, I can't play these games. I can just literally position them where I want them. And obviously you can put more right booth buttons on here uh, and so on. So it's really well integrated into your event screens. Um, so, you know, you might find that as an aside, while you are presenting your video booths or your photo booths, you might have a button on the main screen that just says play some games that let your users move off to a different part of your event structure to play one or more games. It's entirely up to you how you design it. Uh, the, the final thing to say about this is obviously, in order for these games to play, when your right booth event is playing, you must make sure that your system is connected to the internet. So, I hope that uh, fires up the imagination, folks. Okay, thanks for listening.